right there, Natasha Wilkinson here, your independent temporary consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. So I have some boxes behind me. We're going to delve in now that the kids are in bed and delve into these boxes. So I've got three boxes behind me. So here in Australia, when our harvest collection was released, it was a little bit staggered with some delays of some items. And we also had our clearance section update. So this is a combination of some of the staggered items that came in a little bit later and my second shop that I did with the clearance section when it updated. And I also have a third box here, which is actually the Home for the Holidays wax collection. That particular collection is not being released until the 26th of October. But for the first time ever, one of the perks of being a consultant is that we were able to purchase up to two sets of the Home for the Holidays collection for us to do samples, for us to try ourselves, for us basically to start marketing before they were available. So that's what's in the third box. But before we delve into that and do a third sniffs of those particular bars, I'm gonna show you what I picked up in my second clearance haul and some of the extra harvest goodies that I picked up. So let's delve into it, shall we? So the Paradise Collection, which I think was back in May or June, a lot of their items went into the clearance section and they have both the bracelets in coconut daiquiri and blue agave and melon, something like $6. So that's crazy cheap. And these are the perfect size for stocking stuffers, for little gifts. I did purchase a couple for my daughter when they first came out, but I have been gifting these to customers and I find but just having a couple of these on hand, as I said, for stocking stuffers for my daughter's friends and things like that come in handy. So I picked up one each of them. Again, another item that was crazy cheap in our clearance section were the dry discs in Scentsy Clean. They were something like $4 for a pack of two. So I picked up two packets of them. I don't have a dryer at the moment, but again, this is another thing I like to use as thank you presents in my happy mail to give to customers to try out some of our laundry range. So I picked up a couple of them for that purpose. And while we were on the Scentsy Clean kick and I was completely out of laundry, I picked up two Scentsy Clean washer whiffs from the clearance section to use myself. I might sample a bit out Normally, I don't go for just crisp, clean laundry scents. I do like something with a little bit of fruit or a little bit of floral or something a little sweet, but I'd run out of laundry products and Scentsy Clean was in the clearance section, so I thought I would give it a go. And also, I picked up the matching. Scent Soft and Laundry Liquid in Scentsy Clean. So I could have basically the 
full laundry bundle and actually try it because it was actually cheaper to pick up the full bundle obviously in the clearance section than it was to get your normal bundles but saying that because I did recently pick up a Palm Beach Breeze wash brief wish uh, washer whiffs to go with the Fiji flower one I picked up from the clearance section I thought would be a nice compliment I did go back and pick up just in our normal section a scent sock and laundry liquid in Palm Beach Breeze because this is a laundry fragrance that I really do enjoy for the clothes it's fresh it's tropical it's got a little bit of floral it's got a little bit of fruit in it so it's one that I really do enjoy and here in Mount Isa we're now in our high 30s here during the day so this to me is a really nice summery scent to go with the laundry another item that wasn't in the clearance section but I did pick up because I was totally out of was a bathroom cleaner and I decided to pick it up in Cloudberry Jeans. This is a new fragrance in a lot of our items here this season. I really enjoy it in the wax. It's rose and berries. So I thought I would try the bathroom cleaner in it and I'm kind of excited to be able to try a bathroom cleaner that isn't a citrus scent. A lot of our staple scents in our cleaning products tend to be citrus scents unless they're a limited time only product. So I'm excited to get my hands on something that isn't necessarily a citrus scent. So that's box number one out of the way. I'll just clap here some room here so we can go into box number two so box number two so the mare body clip so this was one of the items that was a staggered release here in australia and came out a little bit later i'm thinking of hanging this in the car so this is from the nightmare before christmas and he is centered in halloween town so how cute is he and this buddy clip you can actually turn his head around to show the sad mare or the happy mare so basically his head twists around so i think that's kind of cute bringing in the movie no detail expared he's centered in Halloween town but smelling him doesn't smell like Halloween town I absolutely love love Halloween town this smells a lot more fruitier than Halloween town Halloween town has in the wax a darker deeper richer woodsy scent with the fruit notes where I'm getting in the mare, smells really good, don't get me wrong, but I'm getting in the mare more of just those fruit notes. So I'm thinking of hanging him up in the car. I thought that would be really cute to hang up in the car. So what else is in this box? I picked up a three pack of pods. I picked up a vanilla bourbon. This was from our Father's Day collection. A toasted acorn and oats because I've already used up the toasted acorn and oats oak pod that I originally brought. This was from our harvest collection and also from our harvest collection another cranberry pumpkin spice pods the cranberry pumpkin spice pods i actually have going in my air purifier at the moment so 
They're the three pack of pods I chose to pick up. And because I am going through these harvest oils that came in the harvest collection like no tomorrow, I'm halfway through my first pumpkin cinnamon twist and halfway through the apple caramel crumble oil from my first harvest collection. I think the only one I haven't really touched is the pear one. The golden pear nectar. It's the only one I haven't really tried yet. I did pick up two originally because I knew I was going to love these oils and I didn't and I wanted a backup but I didn't realize I was going to go through them as quick as I was so I picked up myself a third set of those harvest oils because I'm just really enjoying those oils and I can kind of see myself using up two sets and then wanting a third one so I picked up a third set of that and I picked up a fragrance flower in toasted acorn and oak from the harvest collection i was considering picking up one in the cranberry pumpkin spice as well but i opted just to get one for the time being and toasted acorn and oak was probably out of the three my favorite scent which surprised me because i thought the pumpkin one would be my favorite scent i am really enjoying the pumpkin scent but I'm surprised at how much I really love toasted acorn and oak. So I picked up a fragrance flower in that particular scent. And then I picked up a couple of bars that were in the clearance section. So I picked up a crumb top. This is in my Scentsy Club. To me, it smells like fresh porridge bubbling away on the stove I really love it it's beautiful as a mixer as well my sons love it as i said it is in my scentsy club but i just picked up another one because i have been using it regularly and using up what's in my scentsy club before the next shipment so while it was in the clearance i thought i'd pick up another one just to enjoy and i also picked up a lemon sorbet so lemon sorbet is no longer available in the clearance section it has since sold out and i did have it in my monthly scentsy club last month but deleted it because i picked up this other one in the clearance section to do a combination with tangerine creamsicle and vanilla waves which i have done recently and you will hear my review on that in my what i have been warming in a few days on that particular combination and what I thought of it but this is basically a bright lemon scent sweetened with that sugar to me it smells like you have opened up a white icy pole that's what I get from this particular scent so that was my little haul that I picked up of clearance items and some harvest items. Now let's get into the fun part of this video. Since before that I have never tried, this is our home for the holidays wax collection. So in region one, these are their holiday bricks. Here in Australia, we don't get bricks and one of the scents is different to what Region 1 got. So, as a consultant, we were able to get two I don't know if I'll be able to hold them all, but they are uh, one, two, three, four. So they are a five pack of scents that are available from the 26th of October, I believe, that you will be able to purchase then. And I do believe you will be able to purchase them singularly, but I'm not 100% sure on those details yet. 
and here in Australia they're called Home for the Holiday Collection. There's six fragrances brand new that are seasonal for Christmas. And as a consultant, we were able to purchase two of those sets to use prior to the launch. So let's sniff them, shall we? So the first one I am going to talk about is the one that is different to Region 1. This scent is what they released here instead in Region 3 and I also believe in Region 2. So that is Citrus Pear Cider. So it is described as honey crisp apple orchid pear dense through sparkling citrus. So this one excites me and scares me a little bit. The reason being based on the description, cider. I'm all for a cider scent. I love cider scents. Pear, there's a note in pear that I either love or I hate. Sometimes I find with some pear scents, I get this sour note and then other times I don't get it and then I fall in love with that pear scent. Honey pear cider I'm all for and the fact that it says honey crisp apple and then it's got pear, I'm hoping it smells maybe a little bit like that but I don't think it will. To me it sounds like it's going to be a little bit fresher, not so much honey pear cider because I'm down to my last bar of that. That I picked up from the clearance section and I'm kind of hoarding that last bar. And then citrus. Citrus is another one that I'm a bit iffy on. I'm not the biggest citrus fan. Citruses need to have a sweetness about it for me to enjoy it. So let's see what my thoughts are on this. I can get the seal open. I'm picking up just a fresh apple. It's not very strong. Okay, there's that note on the bottom that I'm not a fan of. So I'm picking up that tart sour note on the bottom from the pear. And on the top, I'm getting, it's a little bit gooey. I'm getting like a fresh apple. So I can kind of see why they chose to give us this one other than eggnog, which is what they gave in region one. But to be honest, I would have loved to try that eggnog one. I'm an eggnog fan, but this screams more summery and Christmas here in Australia is summer. So I can kind of see why they chose to give us something a little bit more fruity, a little bit more summery. And that is what it is. It's like a green apple and a pear. And as I said, I'm picking up that little bit of a sour note. I get the pears that I don't always like. And it's a little bit more predominant than in the other ones because I think of the citrus, that citrus kind of mingled with it. Warming though, I don't think I'd hate it. I don't think I'd mind it. I don't think it's gonna be a heavy hitter. I think it's gonna to have to go somewhere like in the kids room where it will throw okay because it's not the strongest smelling scent and I don't think it would be Scentsy Club worthy for me but it's a nice bright fruity apple pear summery scent so the next one is Fluffy Fleece and that is this gorgeous blue wax here and it is described as black currant and cozy moss bundle up beneath a blanket of heliotrope so heliotrope is a flower and it's meant to come off smelling combination like a cherry pie and a vanilla type scent a lot of people say or something marzipani I do remember when I first joined up in February of 2020, 
the first Bring Back My Bar we had, there was a scent that came back called Pixie. And it also had heliotrope in it. And I didn't hate that scent. I didn't love that scent. I wasn't sure what I thought of that scent. I had really mixed feelings about that scent. And I put it down to the heliotrope. So I'm wondering whether this is going to come off similar smelling to Pixie or whether the musk and the current is going to make it smell different. So let's open it and see what I think of it. I'm getting like a musky vanilla. Again, it's not overly strong. Okay, so on the bottom, it's a lot more perfumey on the bottom, but it's not going to be a strong hitter. It's going to be a softer scent, I think. I'm getting a perfumey vanilla musk when I smell this. And I am quite enjoying it. I think this would be a beautiful bedroom scent. Almost clean laundry-like with that soft, perfumey, vanilla -y musk. So I do really like this one. But as I said, not something that I think would work well in the open concept, but I think it would be really pretty in a bedroom. And I'm just throwing everything here. So the next one we're going to talk about is Pink Poinsettia and that is described as crisp plum and blackberry celebrate the season with a burst of pomegranate. So this is one that I was excited to hear about. I love plum scents. Really love plum scents and when blackberries done right, I love them too. So let's delve into it and see what I think about this. Okay. It's not very strong. I'm picking up a very fruity, perfumey scent. It's fruity, but it's coming off perfumey at the same time, kind of like an artificial fruity perfume. Can't quite pick up what I'm smelling. I can tell it's fruits, but I can't say yes it's plum i can't say yes it's blackberry and i can't say yes it's pomegranate they kind of all blending in together here making like this melody of a perfumey fruit again screams summer screams summery not screaming to me christmas it's screaming more of a summer scent that's pink poinsettia so the next one we are going to talk about is sweet orange pomander sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display so it's interesting that i found this one there will be an orange scent in our sense of the season that will be coming up later on. And there's an orange and spice scent, sorry. And there's also an orange and spice scent in our new three pack holiday collection that got released. So it's interesting of the three Christmas packs, you might say, that have been released, that there is at least one orange and spice scent in each of the three Christmas packs. So when I have my hands on all three of them, I've only got two at the moment because the orange and spice scent that's returning in the sense of the season 
was one that we had last year, which was the Sour Wonderland. And I have about five of them in my little stock up because it was one that I really enjoyed. But so it's interesting that they've decided to choose an orange and spice for all three of our Christmas collections this year. And that will have three orange and spice scents. So I'm wanting to compare them and see what difference is they are. But let's smell this one. Sparkling clove and cinnamon stick adorn sweet orange in a dazzling display. So I love cinnamon. I love clove. I love the mixture of it in Wasau Wonderland with that orange. But on a whole, I'm not the biggest citrus fan. So I don't want it to be just in my face orange. And I'm not smelling any orange when I'm smelling this. I'm smelling clothes. And let's see if I can get it out. To smell the bottom. Does it want to come out today and play? Okay, so. Okay, I'm smelling a little bit of the orange on the bottom, but it's coming off kind of like those orange Jaffa chocolates. You're getting that sweet orange Jaffa type smell mixed with cinnamon and clove. This is quite pretty. It's not as citrus heavy as with Sal Wonderland, you get like this sweet Jaffery type smell mixed with a lot of cinnamon and a lot of clove. I am enjoying that more than I thought it would. I thought this would probably would have been my least favourite, but it's not. So, the last one, which excites me probably the most, just based on description. And that is vanilla cinnamon maple. And the reason it, it excites me the most is because it's a bakery scent. And although in summer, I tend to steer more towards fruity and tropical scents and don't really warm much bakery in summer. In winter, I usually look for the bakery scents and I tend to stock a heap into my Scentsy Club because our catalogue always only ever usually has two or three, three or four, or it usually only ever has one spice scent, and then it has usually roughly around three bakery scents. So we don't have a very big range of bakery scents in our seasonal catalogue. So getting bakery scents here in Australia is kind of exciting because it gives me the opportunity to put them in my Scentsy Club so I can have a little bit more bakery scents to enjoy in winter when I like to warm them. So, vanilla cinnamon maple is cinnamon stick warms butter maple atop a mountain of whipped sweet cream. That sounds like it would be edible. Not that you wanna eat our wax. It won't hurt you if you do because it is food grade paraffin, but it wouldn't taste very good. Might smell like you could eat it, but it wouldn't taste good because it is after all just wax. Oh, this is probably the strongest of all of them that I've smelt what I think would warm strength wise and throw the strongest. It is very rich and decadent. The first thing I'm smelling is that maple and it's not a like honey on your pancake maple. It's very syrupy and it's very rich. Cinnamon. It's like a bakery cinnamon there, but it's not overpowering. It's hardly detectable actually when I smell this. Like I have to 
breathe in deep to smell it. I can smell it, but that maple's kind of the predominant note that I'm smelling. I think the cinnamon's just toning it down a little bit. De bleh, to if I can get my words to come. I think the cinnamon is just toning that very syrupy scent down a little bit. And then the cream is blending it together, making it a little bit smoother. Oh, but this is so good. If you like rich and decadent and syrupy in bakery, I think you would really like this one. So they are our home for the season wax collections, my first sniff impressions. Let's rate them from what I think just based on cold sniff would be my favourite to my least favourite and what might be going into my Sensi Club, what might not be. So let's okay so my favourite would have to be vanilla cinnamon maple rich decadent syrupy goodness probably going to go in my Sensi Club depending on its performance my second favourite would be fluffy fleece it's just this beautiful soft perfumey musky scent perfect for the bedroom probably Sensi Club worthy my third favourite surprisingly which I would have been, thought would have been my least favourite just based on cold smell would be sweet orange pomander probably not Scentsy Club worthy to me but I will warm the bar I have I will be using one of my sets to make samples with and I will be warming the other set here I might buy another set when they get released depending on how much I enjoy these scents warming I don't know that this would be Scentsy Club worthy for me maybe one that I'd pick up a few more of but probably not going into my Scentsy Club my fourth favourite would be Pink Poinsettia so this is something that's very summery, very fruity quite sweet, slightly perfumey, not Scentsy Club worthy for me, but it'd be something I would enjoy warming on a hot day, not screaming Christmassy like some of the other scents here. In fact, I don't really think Fluffy Feast is screaming Christmas to me, but it is a really nice scent. This isn't really screaming Christmas to me, what does scream Christmas is probably the most would be vanilla cinnamon maple and sweet orange pomander, even though they'd probably be more wintry scents to me than summery scents here. And my least favourite, just because it has that tart pear note on the end that I sometimes don't really like, would be citrus pear cider again something that's fruity and summery and not really screaming christmas to me but something that would be enjoyable in summer and not sensi club worthy so they are based on just cold sniffs my impressions my impressions could change i have been known to warm a scent that i think is not going to be sensi club worthy or that i don't like and absolutely fall in love with so that could totally happen too or i've been known to warm a scent that i really love on cold and then don't like it on warm so but that is their home for the holidays wax collection and that was my haul so i hope you enjoyed my little prelude as i said these bars will be available for purchase from the 26th of october I will be making samples with one of these sets to get 
go with my happy mail this month so anyone that gets happy mail this month will be getting some sneak samples of these bars and i will be warming a set just so i can get a full idea of what they smell like and be able to give people warm reviews of them but i hope you enjoyed my little haul i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you are all staying safe and i'm going to sign off for now until next time bye for now and stay safe